big. If I turn around, you can see I actually didn't. If I turn around, it's a bandeau style door, this suit. It's adjustable in the back, so you can see the different. If I turn backward, this part adjustable, but unfortunately, Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing another bikini try-on haul. So with that, let's check out some of the suits. Okay, you guys, so this is suit number one, and I actually chose this suit as one of the suits that I wanted them to send me in the original try-on haul video. I thought it was so cute, but they were out of stock. So when they contacted me again and asked if I wanted to do another haul, I was so excited because I wanted this suit. So. I absolutely adore this top. It is so cute. I actually haven't undone these strings, but I believe if you wanted to make it tighter, you could. The one complaint that I have is I don't love the bottoms. They're a little bit big. Probably has to do with the fact that this is a size medium, so the top fits perfectly. The bottoms are just a little bit big. If I turn around, you can see I actually didn't know that the back was full coverage like this. I think it's really fun. It's definitely different than uh, any other suits that I have. The bottoms are full coverage as well. I adore this suit. I think it's so different, it's so fun. I love the pattern. So overall, I was really happy to get this suit in the mail. In terms of tan lines, I would say it's not the best, but definitely if you were going to the lake and you were going on a boat, I feel like this is my go-to suit for that. Okay, on to suit number two. I have to admit the main reason that I picked this suit and was literally like, I want to wear that with a pair of shorts. So this is actually the second time I've bought something from Cupshe that you could absolutely wear as a normal clothing item. You can see the bottoms are extremely high-waisted. They have this cute leafy pattern. If I turn around, it's a bandeau style suit, but it has more coverage down here, so it has a little extra something going on. I love the bottoms too. These are a full coverage as well. Like I said, I mean, I wore this shirt with a pair of shorts and got so many compliments on it being such a cute shirt because it literally looks like just a top. So very, very happy with this suit. It's super nice, especially if you want to cover your midsection. It's still cute and flattering, but it definitely has a little bit more coverage here. So very versatile suit, if I do say so myself. I really do like this. I wasn't expecting to like the bottoms as much, but these actually fit a lot better than the original bottoms that I tried on. So I could see wearing this suit as a normal swimsuit as well as wearing this with a pair of high-waisted jeans or high-waisted shorts as well. Okay guys, so here is the next suit. And honestly, I thought it looked so flattering on the model and I was like, there's probably a likelihood that it's going to look terrible on me, but let's just try it. I was so happy with how this suit turned out. Like usually when you look online and you see it on a really skinny model or someone and you think like, mm, it's probably not gonna look as good on me. It really holds you in. I feel like it has a super nice lift. It's adjustable in the back so you can see that I can adjust it to make it tighter here. It has this really cute crisscrossing pattern. And I just feel like overall it's a really flattering suit. These bottoms are full coverage as well. I would say in terms of bottoms, they're not my favorite. They definitely fit well and I'd say better than the other two bottoms I tried on. I think bottoms are just hard to make in general that look good on everyone. So I think they're supposed to ride a little bit lower. I like them a little bit higher waisted so I have them here. But I would love to see this top with like a cheekier, higher waisted style bottom. So that is definitely what I'm going to try this top with. I think it's so different, it's so cute, and I'm always a big fan of tie-dye as well. Okay, so on to the next swimsuit here. I always try to get myself to try at least one one-piece because I feel like there are so many cute one-pieces, and you can absolutely make a one-piece sexy. I feel like that's something that is so underrated, and there are a lot of really cute one-pieces, so I actually really like this one-piece. It is a deeper plunge suit, so I feel like it still has sort of a sexy vibe. I actually love this pattern. It's super, super different. If I turn backwards, it has crisscross in the back. It is so adjustable, so if you wanted it a little bit higher, you absolutely could. You would just adjust these straps back here. 
I thought that the pattern was extremely different than anything I'd seen before and like I said I think you can absolutely make a one-piece suit cute and sexy I would totally go out and wear this obviously if I wanted to show a little bit more skin I would choose a two-piece but in terms of one pieces I'm I love it so I would say last but not least, but unfortunately I did actually save my least favorite suit to the end and there's a few reasons why. I took a gamble on this suit because it is not adjustable across here. I figured that it would probably not turn out too well and I was right. I think that overall this design could have been so, so cute. This part adjustable, but unfortunately because it's not, this part in the front gapes and it, none of it works. It just doesn't fit quite right. I don't like the bottoms, they're really large. Obviously it lifts, it looks super cute, but it doesn't lay flat. And so I think had they made the back adjustable, this, obviously you can adjust here, but that doesn't change the impact around here. And so I'm honestly surprised it fits as well as it does considering the fact you can't change this. It's actually reasonably snug, but I don't like the design. It gapes. I just don't have very much good things to say about this suit. Most of them are not like this. A majority of the suits I absolutely adore, so I did save this for the end because it's not my favorite, but I had to be honest about the review and try on all of the suits. So unless you know that this is going to fit around you and look super cute, which I just took a stab and guessed, figured that it wouldn't and it didn't, then I probably wouldn't go with a suit like this. And it's so hard to make suits that aren't adjustable. So I don't know what the concept behind this was going to be, but I don't love it. I do like the color. I think it's really sweet. I'm not so sure that I would match this dark with such a light pink. So as I said, I don't love the suit. It's reasonably flattering, honestly, for what it is, but it needs a lot of work. So this is the final suit. I loved all of the other suits, as I said before, but this one just didn't do it for me. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I will see you guys next video and good luck.